Hello, y'all. My name is Mike, and today we're gonna make Sichuan Tom Yum Hot Pot. And if you have not tried this, I really recommend you should, because it's a good balance of like the numbness of the Sichuan peppers with the sourness of the Tom Yum with a little bit of kick of Thai chili peppers. This idea of Sichuan Tom Yum Hot Pot was made between my best friend and I. One day we were eating hot pot together, that Sichuan style, where there's like a spicy side and there's like a non-spicy side. And we're just eating, and then both of us like, wait, both of us don't really like non-spicy. So why can't we just substitute it tom yum, where it has some spicy? So we're like, sure, why not? So then one day before, like it was like last week or a few days ago, we had hot pot together, and it really blew my mind. So like I said, if you haven't tried it, please do. It will change your game of hot pot. All right, so let's get to it. Now here are the ingredients of Sichuan Tom Yum Hot Pot. To make the Tom Yum soup base, I salted the lemongrass, the galangal, the chili peppers, and confair lime leaves. For the confair lime leaves, it's optional for y'all to saute it. I have a habit of salting everything. However, just before you put the confair lime leaves into the soup, make sure y'all rip it before put it into the soup because it helps bring out the flavor more. Next, I add shrimp stock that has been infused with garlic and galanga. I didn't record the part where I make the shrimp stock, but I made this so many times in my past videos. So just look through there, and if you need a tutorial, let me know. And I can make a video about that. To give it more of an umami salty flavor, I add in fish sauce. And once that is in, I set the tom yum soup base into one of the side of the hot pot pot. To make a Sichuan soup base, we use a Sichuan instant packet. And y'all can use any brand. However, we just chose this brand because we just like this brand for this video. And we add it to the wok. Then add in six cups of water and we bring it to a boil. Y'all can use chicken stock to give it more flavor. However, water works perfectly fine. It has enough flavor for us to dip and drink out of it. At this point, y'all, y'all can definitely smell the spiciness of the Sichuan soup base. And I remember at this time, my best friend was like, Michael, Michael, can you smell this? Like, can you smell the smelliness of the, of the spiciness of the Sichuan? I'm like, nah, dude, I can't smell it because she had the air on. But then when I got closer to it, I'm like, wow. It's so aromatic. Once your Sichuan hot pot soup base is done, then pour it into the other side of the hot pot pot. So a good rule for hot pot is to have at least two different protein, two different vegetables, and then one carbohydrate. And if you have more toppings, that's even better because hot pot, it's all about different types of topping into one boiling pot. For our protein and choice, we decided to use thinly sliced ribeye that we bought at the Asian market, and you can find us at any local Asian market. Then we also got with shrimp of heads and skins, and we decided to use that because it has so much flavor compared to the peeled shrimps. We also have some fish balls and some blue crabs for our additional protein, and then our vegetable choice is going to be bok choy and inaki mushrooms. For the carbohydrate choice, y'all can do like brown rice, white rice, egg noodles, or anything you like. But today, we decided to use some glass noodles. Alright y'all, so now we are ready to eat. Woo! So, we can do any protein choice in any order. Uh, we decided to use the beef first because we both like beef and my best friend she likes it more well done so she put that in first and let it cook for about like five minutes i personally like my beef more raw so if you like it more raw like me dip it in for about 30 seconds to a minute take it out and then it's ready to go for the shrimp it takes a couple minutes to cook so dip in there leave it in there and when it turns about like bright orange then it's ready to go and Personally, like I said, I like to eat with the shell. Guilty pleasure. But if you don't like it, feel free to remove the shell and eat it. Then we add in crabs on each side, the mushrooms, the bok choy, 
And for hot pot, there's no no particular order of what to eat first or what to put in first. You do what y'all feel best, and if y'all want to eat the mushrooms first, go for it. If y'all want to eat the crab first, go for it. Like, you do what y'all want to do. Also, I forgot to mention that if you want a little more sourness to your hot pot, feel free to add a lemon or lime to the Thai side. And just giving y'all a heads up that when you apply heat to the soup, the sourness goes away. So we decide to have a side of limes or lemon and just add in as we go whenever you want it more sour. Here are the recommended servings and according to my fitness pal, here are the nutrition facts. Alright y'all, so I hope you'll learn a lot about hot pot. This dish honestly can impress your family, your friends, especially during holidays. And I just want to wrap it up saying that thank you for watching. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the bottom. And thank y'all. Have your day. At this point, y'all, y'all can definitely spell, spell. What? What are to spell?